Hi, Dr. Elizabeth Bonet here with Conversations for Effective Living and the Hypnotize Me podcast. Today, I'm talking about anxiety during the holidays, but in particular around in-laws. So this is a thing that causes a lot of people nervousness, anxiety, sleepless nights is how do I handle my in-laws? They're going to be here for Thanksgiving or Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever that holiday is for you, Kwanzaa. And what do I do about them? So I have a great resource for you. This is called A Wife's Guide to In-Laws, How to Gain Your Husband's Loyalty Without Killing His Parents by Jenna D. Barry. And this is an awesome book. Men can benefit from this too. It is written for wives, but husbands can actually absolutely benefit from it. It's a very funny book. It won't bring you down and it has all kinds of ideas and suggestions about dealing with the in-laws. Now, I also use a handout in my practice where we talk about, okay, the rights, your rights as a person, your rights with your partner, your rights with your in-laws, your responsibilities to yourself, your partner, and your in-laws. So I'm just going to read a couple of these off. So your rights as a person to be treated with respect, to make mistakes, to change your mind, to be taken seriously. Okay, your rights as a partner, with your partner, to expect your partner to put your you first and be on your team. That's a big one, and she talks about that a lot, like how to put on your own team shirts when you're entering a situation with your in-laws. Okay, your rights with your in-laws, you have the right to disagree, to not love them. That's a big one, you don't have to love them. You have to get along with them generally. That's even questionable. Sometimes you get to make the decision about that. But in general, it's better for everybody if everyone gets along, right? To ask them to stay out of problems between you and your partner. That's a big one. To limit how much time you spend with them. So that is a huge one for a lot of people going into the holidays and saying, hey, I can do this for about two hours and then we need to go, you know, or whatever that is for you. Okay. Section four is your responsibilities to yourself, your partner, and your in-laws. You have the responsibility to communicate your concerns and feelings truthfully without attacking the other person. So in-laws bring up all kinds of anger in people if you don't get along with them. Fantasies start running of what you would like to say and what you would like to do. And really your responsibility is to act as an adult and not attack them. So there's a whole list there that we go through often in my practice. But those are a couple of bullet points from the handout that are useful for people. So I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Remember that there's free stuff over at my website or you can give a look over there if you'd like to come in and work on some of this stuff. I love working with this, these kinds of issues. I really do.